Hello, Judith. Hello, Livia. <laughs> it's a, such a strange situation that we work together in the organizing team uh, during the last two and a half year. And even though now we have a kind of formal conversation about the conference, but try to be not too formal. We try to be not too, not too much, yes. Uh, but this video is one out of the uh, 12, which is made just recording interesting and very important and uh, um, professional people who mm -hmm. are, whose work is connecting to the conference, mainly because they are keynote speakers, mainly because they are ambassadors. And in this specific case, because you are the leader of the organizing team, which is the Hungarian Gestalt Association uh, board members, and you are, as a president, the leader of the project, and also the project deliver, who had a personal meeting with EAGT board members, and finally figured out that the next conference will be in Budapest. Mm -hmm. Can you say a couple of words about a little bit just a little bit history how the whole thing began hmm. it was very interesting because uh, in the middle of uh, 2016 sometime in the summer um, Gianni Francesetti the uh, former president of the EAGT sent a letter to the board members that uh, the EHT is looking for the new candidates who are willing to organize uh, the next, uh, the 2019th conference of the EHT. And I got the letter, uh, I read it, and uh, it was immediately a very strong impulse or a very strong calling, I felt, that uh, how big challenge and how huge opportunity would be for us as Hungarian Gestalt community uh, if we could uh, organize this conference and uh, it was it was like really as a hit uh, in in my mind and immediately I, I wrote a mail to my colleagues in the board and asked them what was their opinion about this and I got a positive answer back from them so I answered to Francesetti that um, we are thinking of that and uh, probably we will be the candidate, uh, but let's talk a little bit more about the details in the, in the board meeting at Taormina. And uh, when we went to Taormina and uh, I um, presented uh, our uh, willingness to be a candidate, I got so many positive uh, feedback or, or um, encouragement, enforcement, and uh, high welcoming energy from all the board members, uh, especially from uh, Gianni and also from Beatrix, uh, who is the president now of the EGT. So it was extremely touching for us. Uh, I was there with Arpad, uh, we were together at the, at the board meeting and um, we just came back uh, to Hungary with a, with a very warm feeling uh, mm -hmm. in our hearts because uh, we felt that uh, the whole EHT really support us and the next year in, in March uh, the next board meeting uh, just uh, accepted. Uh, our uh, application so at the beginning there was a huge acceptance and positive feedbacks and love in the air and so everything was mm -hmm. really like as a real good project supposed to be started but mm -hmm. after you started the job how what, what was the you would say a risky or challenging or more interesting situation mm -hmm. you would share with the participants as a something interesting <laughs> and maybe 20 years later it will be more interesting than nowadays, but what the secrets, was this? The secrets in the background. Two <laughs> <laughs> yeah. things which came into my mind now. One uh, was uh, in the very beginning, after I, we came back from Taormina and decided to make an application, we 
were supposed to make a presentation, a PPT presentation about the venue and uh, how we just planned the whole project and um, so to present for the, for the EHET how it will look like. So we started to look for a proper venue for the conference. And uh, it was so uh, surprising and that we didn't find a good one. Uh, so we were looking for in uh, October, in November, in December. We knew that the next board meeting will be in 2017 in March. So the whole presentation should be done uh, by that time. And uh, in March, we don't know really where the conference will be held. Because the biggest venue I found uh, was uh, uh, enough for maximum 500 participants. And uh, we, we hoped that much more people uh, would like to come. Uh, so that was quite risky. So we got the, the job, I mean, uh, uh, the, the right to uh, organize the conference. And we still didn't know that where will be the, the, the venue. And uh, after this March board meeting, uh, one week later, just by, by chance, actually, uh, they met someone um, in, a, in a meeting and, uh, and got uh, a new uh, ideas. So we, now we uh, approach to the Congress Center uh, and the Novotel Hotel, and, uh, and that was the proper, the, the, the best. Perfect. Yeah. The perfect one. So that was a risky point. Mm -hmm. uh, so the other one uh, which came into my mind is that um, our logo is a bridge. Uh, this is our, uh, the logo was formed uh, or based upon um, our em most emblematic uh, bridge called Chain Bridge, uh, which is the middle of the town. And uh, all the many, many photos on the website is about the chain bridge. So our whole design is, is, is around bridges and, and the most uh, important bridge is the, the chain bridge. So we made the whole design uh, of the uh, conference, the website, the logos, and everything. So we were uh, absolutely ready with everything. And uh, after a couple of weeks later, we got to know that uh, um, the, the Budapest um, municipality uh, plan to restore the chain bridge and they wanted to block the whole area. Of course, the chain bridge also went around everything in, the, in September of 2019, actually, when the conference uh, uh, will be. So we were <laughs> quite uh, um, upset about it. Uh, and what happened, again, a lock, uh, that the whole uh, restoring uh, project uh, is delayed. So they will uh, start it only probably in 2019 in November. So the chain bridge and the whole area is open uh, during the conference. Yeah, so let's say uh, the heaven is, help is helping us also. <laughs> Yes, it was really a wonderful, wonderful, lucky situation. And now we can be sure that it will be open. Uh, yes, and then later on, the content of the conference uh, was in focus. The first time void. The first time void and about the title itself. So mm -hmm. what do you say about the content itself and the topic? of the conference, how it became to be this one specifically, and what can you just feel the topic, mm -hmm. your words? Um, we were thinking a lot about what will be the, the proper topic uh, of the conference. We investigate what was the theme of the previous conferences. Uh, we had a lot of uh, conversation. Uh, in our community, we ask our colleagues, we just uh, organized uh, some brainstorming uh, 
between uh, the Gestalt therapist or the other Gestalt practitioners in our community. So just collected uh, different ideas. And, um, and finally, that will be that uh, the fertile void and the creative indifference if the uh, seemed to be the most uh, interesting and most uh, current uh, topic. This is very relevant in our modern life that uh, extremely lot impulses and uh, data and information is surrounding us. We live in a very complex world. And it's uh, in the, in very much polarities. Um, and it's a, it's a hard job for the human mind and, uh, and the human um, spirit uh, to find the right answers uh, among this uh, very uh, different uh, facts or very polarities uh, world. So it's, it's, it's a very difficult, very overwhelming, very uh, demanding. So it needs, I think, all uh, human beings need uh, support to find uh, the proper solution, to find uh, some uh, uh, right answers, to, to adjust to these very difficult uh, circumstances, very changeable uh, world, very challenging world. So I think we need support. But what, where we can support, how we can find support. Uh, we can find support outside. So we can go for therapy, we can go for uh, courses, we can buy books and read it. Um, so we can do many things, ask advice, is, uh, so we can do many things to get support from the outside world. But how we can find support in ourselves and uh, how we can find our inner sources, this is, I think, a very relevant and very important question because how we can find our inner masters, that could be the best uh, helper of us. We can find uh, our wisdom, we can find our uh, calmness if we can go in a place uh, where we get uh, this, uh, this inner self-support. So where is that place? Uh, and in my opinion is that uh, this is actually the fertile void. If we can find this void, if we can find this uh, a place where we can just take a breath, we can have a silence, we can have a, um, some uh, meditation mood and uh, just go inside a little bit and, uh, and rest a little bit, the creative energy can emerge, uh, the answers can emerge, the support can emerge from ourselves. So. This is one reason why we think that uh, this uh, fertile world topic is very relevant and very current uh, knowledge now in, in this, this modern world. Uh, the creative indifference is, uh, is also something about this just from a different perspective. The creative indifference uh, is a way of looking at the world. It's a, it's a way how we approach the situations, a way how we uh, evaluate the situations or how we judge the situation actually without judgment. Because the creative indifference, this is the wider perspective, how we can uh, step into the world and not jump into one or, um, or the other point, other, one or the other polarities, not say, immediately that this is good or this is bad, don't judge uh, the situations uh, and say, okay, we reject this or we just swallow that uh, without any chewing. So not going to the, uh, to the end 
the polarities, but try to be in the middle, try to be in, a, in, that, in the perspective of seeing the wholeness of the situations. And because today uh, it's very difficult, because you can, okay, open the internet or the TV or whatever, the Facebook, in every minute you can uh, hear something, an opinion, and the second minute you can uh, hear or see the opposite of this opinion. So constantly we are living in this um, uh, opposite uh, uh, and con controversy uh, facts and data. So people... And everything seems, and every data seems valid, right? So that's why it's so important to make a decision which is true, yeah. which is not true. So I think the creative indifference is also something which helps us to, uh, to go into the fertile world. So this is just like a vehicle in the mind which helps us to, to go into a, uh, a different pathway. Yeah, so it's a, like without any preconception, just being able to stay with what it is. And that's the huge challenge. Most yeah, yeah. Because yeah. people, the human mind is, is working as a meaning making and solution making mechanism. So we are constantly sensing the, the, the data or the impulses, evaluate this and uh, giving answers, giving solutions. Uh, giving making for this and uh, this is how we do it minute by minute constantly and uh, this is a very embarrassing situation if there is too much um, data too much uh, opposite situations and uh, if the human mind is just uh, got the feeling that okay what's going on i don't know now i i don't have an answer right now what is the good one and to stay with this not knowing and be in, in, in the not knowing is also very um, embarrassing and very uh, difficult for the human mind so this is one reason why we we always want to know the right answer and want to know the right evaluation instead of staying in the not knowing staying in the fertile void waiting uh, until some, some answer just emerge from, from the void. As you summarized, it sounds wonderful still. Even we worked with it, we, we are working with it uh, during the last two years. The topic itself is really wonderful and that's the most, most important feed for people just let, let us be without any distinction that I am a, me and you are you, because at the very first second, the distinguish means that we are different and then, then we are different and we are aware of that difference, then there is no chance to be, to be creative and let it, what happens, let it be. And let it be, it's just it's a wonderful <laughs> slogan. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I'm really happy that hearing you that I am a part of this job. <laughs> uh, I didn't, it's a surprise for me during this video that I really feel so. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> there is one more thing which would be really like a kind of uh, supportive thing if you can say uh, some words to the participants as a message. What would you say to them? Like if you sit face to face, any of them, just say, listen, you are a participant. I would like to say you this and that. What do you think you can say to them? First of all, I'm very uh, honored that so many people will come. We are more than 700. So I would say uh, to everyone that thank you very much for coming. And uh, also, uh, for visiting us as Hungary because I think it's too for me it's too, too big uh, uh, joy uh, that uh, we 
uh, will be so many of us here in the conference. One is that, uh, and this is a message for, for anyone, for everyone, that uh, I think this is a great, really great opportunity because the, the whole Gestalt world is coming to one place. We're gathering in one place for four, four days. And we can share our knowledge, we can share our uh, uh, experiences, we can share our uh, practices, we can learn from each other, we can connect to each other, we can exchange our knowledge. So I think this is fantastic. Uh, and um, we can uh, uh, feed ourselves of this uh, richness uh, and also it's a joy because we can meet we can contact we can have fun we can talk to each other we can dance with each other so i think uh, this is the best thing what can happen with us in this yes. four day and um, also what i would like to say to everyone that um, use or take a chance uh, to, to go out a little bit to the city and, uh, and uh, just walking around uh, in the streets and looking around, uh, experience uh, Budapest because I think it's a, it's a wonderful city and have a great time there. Uh, take a chance to know a little bit more about us. Okay, thank you Judith for the interview. Welcome, thank you for... And keep forward in the next like 18 days, I think. Mm -hmm. So we have 18 days left and the meeting will be happen anyway. So I am very much excited. Yes, thank you. Thank you, bye.